We have reached the end of the series composite online, today I will show you how to cement it. But, before, remove the temporary restoration by gently forcing it with a blunt tipped instrument. Perform tooth prophylaxis using a Robinson brush and pumice paste to remove temporary restoration residues. Avoid using aluminum oxide jet at this stage since the patient will be without absolute isolation. Fit the online into position on the prepared tooth. If the online does not fit properly, the contact point may be too strong due to composite excess on the proximal surface. To check for excess, try passing dental floss with the online in position. If it has significant resistance, it indicates a strong contact. Use a small piece of thin carbon on a Miller tweezer to identify the contact area, preventing the online from seating on the prepared tooth. Place the carbon on the contact area with the adjacent tooth. Position the online on the prepared tooth without removing the carbon. Remove the online and carbon, and analyze the marks on the online. If the mark is too strong in a single point, there is composite excess in that region, hindering proper seating. Remove the composite excess with an abrasive rubber to avoid excessive wear and open the contact area between the online and the adjacent tooth. But, if you don't have an abrasive rubber, use a carbide burr. Repeat these processes until the restoration fits properly. Use dental floss to check the contact area, there should be slight resistance, but the floss should pass freely. Then, check the online adaptation using an explorer probe, ensuring no steps or failures in the transition from tooth to online and vice versa. Before cementing the online, select the resin cement you will use. Take into consideration the thickness of the online, measured with a thickness gauge. If the online is less than 1.5 mm thick, you may choose a light cure resin cement, such as light cured adhesive resin cement, low viscosity composite or heated conventional composite. If the online is thicker than 1.5 mm, it will not allow proper light passage from the light curing unit, so opt for dual cure resin cements, such as dual cure adhesive resin cement or universal dual cure resin cement for any type of dental preparation, or dual cure self-adhesive resin cement for teeth prepared without dentin sealing. In this case, the online has more than 1.5 mm thick, so a dual cure resin adhesive cement was used. Now, it's time for online looting, which involves two preliminary steps, online treatment and tooth treatment. To speed up the procedure, you can perform tooth treatment while your assistant handles online treatment. For tooth treatment, perform the absolute isolation. If possible, isolate not only the prepared tooth, but also the mesial and distal adjacent teeth to maintain proximal contact. Fit the online in position on the tooth again to check if the absolute isolation is not interfering with its proper seating. Clean the prepared tooth according to your preference, either with a Robinson brush and pumice paste or with aluminum oxide jet. Regardless of the cleaning method, remove the cleaning residues and proceed to acid etching. Use a Teflon strip to protect the adjacent tooth. Apply phosphoric acid to the prepared tooth for 20 seconds, then remove the acid and dry the tooth. Apply the adhesive system from the same brand as the cement you are using. Rub it thoroughly on the dental preparation for 20 seconds. Blow a light air stream for 20 seconds to evaporate the solvent. Use a disposable endodontic suction to remove excess adhesive. Do not cure the adhesive, keep the light off the tooth. Now, move on to online treatment or have your assistant do it while you work on the prepared tooth. Clean the internal surface of the online either with a Robinson brush and pumice paste or with aluminum oxide jet. Remove the cleaning residues, and then clean the online with an ultrasonic bath. Line the bottom of the container with gauze to prevent the online from hitting its walls and possibly fracturing. Cover it with distilled water and place it in the ultrasonic bath for 5 minutes. Remove the online from the ultrasonic bath and thoroughly dry it.
Apply hydrolyzed silane or a universal adhesive containing silane to the onlyze internal surface. Rub it well, blow a light stream of air to evaporate the solvent, and let the silane act for 5 minutes. So, apply the adhesive system on the silane, rubbing it well, and blow air to evaporate the solvent. Do not cure the adhesive layer. In this case, select the appropriate mixing tip for the cement and attach it to the blister's tip. Press the blister's plunger until the cement passes through the entire automix tip. Dispense the resin cement directly onto the internal surface of the onlie. Fill it completely. Insert the onlie into the prepared tooth, press it well, allowing resin cement overflow. Remove cement excess using a disposable brush. Clean proximal faces with dental floss. Wait 5 minutes to allow the chemical polymerization of the cement. So, light cure the buccal, occlusal, and palatal surfaces for 40 seconds to 1 minute each surface. Before removing absolute isolation, Clear excess resin cement with a number 12 scalpel blade. Check the contact area, if needed, finish proximal surfaces with polyester strip. If everything is fine, remove the isolation and perform occlusal adjustment. Check the occlusion by having the patient bite on carbon between the teeth. Ask the patient to bite on maximum habitual intercuspation and make lateral and protrusive movements. If there's excessive contact only in the restored area, there's excess material. Use an oval or bullet-shaped multi-layered burr to remove excess composite resin. Continue occlusion check until all contacts are evenly distributed among posterior teeth. Polish the cementation interface and the occlusal adjustment area. Apply finishing rubber in low rotation without pressure for one minute. Clean the tooth with air slash water spray to remove rubber abrasive residues. Apply a silicon carbide brush in circular motion for one minute in low rotation without pressure. Finish with a goat hair or horsehair brush to remove residues and provide the final shine. In this case, a horsehair brush is used. No need to immerse it in polishing paste to avoid impregnating the grooves. So, this concludes the online procedure. I hope you enjoyed this clinical video series. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and enable notifications to stay updated on new content. Thank you for watching this far and see you in the next video.